Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am here to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So these are some of my favorite videos to film just because I get to talk about perfumes that I just recently wore so they're really fresh in my mind. Um, you know, and I really just get to talk about my experiences with them. And I think it's helpful for you guys because I talk a lot more in these videos about how they perform, um, what they really smell like on me and things like that. So I do hope that you all enjoy this series that I do because I really enjoy filming them. So, um, with that being said, let's jump right in. So, um, Let's talk about my Thanksgiving combination first. So I layered two fragrances together on Thanksgiving. I knew I wanted to wear this one. This is uh, Penhaligon's, or this is from the Portraits collection. And this is called Clandestine Clara. Um, this is, uh, this is a really beautiful, um, slightly sweet. It's got rum in it. So it's a little bit boozy, it's woody. Um, a little bit spiced. It's just a super cozy warm fragrance. I knew it would be perfect for Thanksgiving. I did want to sweeten it up just a little bit though. So I layered it with my Outremer Vanille. Um, I layer, I use this fragrance to layer with like all the time. Um, you can see I've got such a big dent in my bottle. Um, and when I tell you that this thing comes full all the way up into the neck, it comes completely full all the way up into the neck. So yeah, I've put a pretty big dent in this. I layer, I use it to layer all the time. I do wear it on its own as well. Um, this vanilla is just a, it's a very sweet cotton candy like vanilla. I believe it has cotton candy as a note in it. So it's just really beautiful. Like if you ever want to add vanilla to anything or sweeten something up a little bit, it is the perfect fragrance for that. So these two layered together were just gorgeous. It made just like a, I don't know. It basically just infused some vanilla into Clandestine Clara, a little bit of extra sweetness, but this one is much stronger than this one. So it actually, um, it actually balanced out the sweetness in the vanilla really well. So yeah, and this combination lasted forever. Um, this easily got me through the entire day and I never had to reapply. It's, it was just a really beautiful combination. So anyways, that is that was my Thanksgiving day combination. That was the uh, Penhaligon's Portraits cl Clandestine Clara layered with Outremer Vigny. Okay, next is one that I have been saving for cooler weather. I bought this when it was warmer out. Um, it didn't last at all in the heat. Um, and so I think I even said I was gonna put it away and wait until cooler weather to really give it a good test. And that's what I did. So this is, let's see here, which one is this? I don't even know which one, what, what this one is called. It doesn't have the name on it anywhere and I don't have a good enough memory to remember. Um, this is a police fragrance though and yeah, I cannot remember the name of this one, but it's really a gorgeous fragrance and I sprayed this one on. It's got a nice sprayer. Oh, it smells so good. It's kind of, it's a little bit fruity, but it's super cozy and warm. Uh, it smells like something else to me. I will, of course, have all of the. Uh, I will. I'll have all of the notes on the screen. And if I can figure out what I feel like this smells like to me, I will definitely put it on the screen as well. But yeah, I just love this one, and it performs so much better in colder weather than it does in the heat. It actually lasted a really, really long time. Um, I definitely got at least six hours out of this. I do overspray and I did overspray, um, but I got a long, long wear time out of this. Way longer than in the heat. I think in the heat, this wore away in maybe an hour. I thought for sure it was just gonna be a really, um, like a really terrible performing fragrance, but it's not. It's definitely meant more for cold weather. It even smells more like a cold weather fragrance. It's sweet, it's candied, it's fruits, it's something like caramel, or I can imagine something like caramel, vanilla, praline, something like that. 
it's really, really beautiful. I love it. Um, and again, definitely me meant for cold weather. Lasts so much better in cold weather. So that is Police. I can't remember the name of it. I will, of course, have it on the screen for you. Um, but I love that fragrance. Super nice. Very affordable cold weather fragrance. Okay. Next is one that I just picked up off of Mercari. I found a partial bottle of Skylar Vanilla Sky. Um, this is the Eau de Toilette formulation. Oh, this is so good. I have seen that they came out with an Eau de Parfum formulation that you can pick up on Sephora right now. Um, I'm gonna wait for a little bit, maybe see if I can find a bottle um, used, or maybe I'll just wait and see if I can get like a coupon or use points or something. That I've got but this is a beautiful vanilla it's got a cappuccino note in it um, oh it's so good so it's like vanilla with a hint of coffee oh and I love it it's not like a cakey vanilla it's not an overly sweet vanilla it is um, I would say it's still kind of gourmand but it's super grown-up smelling this is not like childlike at all it doesn't smell or it's not juvenile at all it doesn't smell like a confection it's really gorgeous. The addition of that cappuccino note in it is really, really stunning. So anyways, that is Skylar Vanilla. Oh, and I did have to reapply this throughout the day, even in the cold weather. So I think, I want to say I got maybe three or so hours out of it. I did wear this one to work too, and I got a compliment. Um, the girl that I work for was like, um, because I wore this on my birthday. She was like, what is your birthday fragrance today? And I told her and she was like, it smells really, really good. So yeah, this is definitely a crowd pleaser as well. And I think I got maybe four or so hours out of it. I did have to reapply it as soon as I got home from work. So yeah, it's not the best performing fragrance in the world. Um, I'm really hoping that the new Eau de Parfum is better performing. If I hear that it performs better than this, I will probably go ahead and pick it up because I love vanilla. So anyways, that is Skylar Vanilla Sky. Okay, next I wore one of my ganache fragrances. I could not, I've got a whole bunch of them out because I can't put them away until I wear them. Um, and this is one of them. This is Bon Vivant. And I found that Bon Vivant actually smells very, very similar to Palo Santo from, um, from Carner Barcelona. So if, I'm, I did test them side by side yesterday. Um, Palo Santo is spicier um, and a little bit less sweet than Bon Vivant. I actually prefer my Bon Vivant over my Palo Santo. So I may, that may end up going up on Mercari, my Palo Santo, because I've got this that smells very, very similar, but I actually like this one better. So yeah, and I had no idea that I basically had a version of Palo Santo in my collection already. I wish I would have known. and I could have saved myself some money, but yeah, I love this. And this lasts a really long time on me. Um, I think I did reapply this, but it wasn't until after like seven hours of wearing it. So I had had it on for a really, really long time before I even reapplied it. And I basically just, re I think I reapplied it so I could test it next to Palo Santo. Yeah, I love it. It lasted forever. This is a great performing fragrance. I think it lasted, mm, well, like I say, seven or eight hours before I even thought about reapplying it. It's sweet. It's yummy. It's gourmand smelling. It's got a milky note in it. It's a little bit spiced. It smells like caramel. Oh, it's just so good. It's so yummy. I love it. If they still have this on their website, I definitely recommend picking this one up. I I can't remember if I came across this one or not when I was scrolling through. But anyways, that is Ganache Bon Vivant. Such a good fragrance. A little gem I had in my collection that I didn't realize what I had until I pulled it out and wore it again. Okay, another fragrance that I wore this week that I have just been craving this fragrance and that's what happens a lot. Um, this is Laura Mercier Eau Gourmand Ombre Vigny. And yeah, this is one of those that I will just crave. It's such a beautiful, it's more vanilla than amber, I would say. It's like, it is gourmand smelling, but it's got this like perfumey aspect to with the amber that keeps it from smelling too, too gourmand. 
It's beautiful. It's like, I think this is the most vanilla heavy amber that I've got in my collection, but because it's so vanilla heavy, it smells almost more like vanilla and less like amber, which is why it's not my favorite amber in my collection. My favorite amber is my Lardesan um, Load Ombre Extreme because it smells more like amber, but it's very vanilla heavy. This is more of a vanilla fragrance that smells kind of like amber, if that makes any sense. I love it. Lasts absolutely forever on me. I do overspray this. I usually go in with maybe eight sprays or so, and I can easily get through an entire day without having to reapply at all. I think I did reapply after maybe eight or 10 hours or so just to refresh it, but I really didn't need to. Um, yeah, it lasts really, really well in the cold weather. Now in the heat, it doesn't perform as well. I have worn it in the heat. Um, I don't get as much time out of it in the heat, but in the cold, this thing is a beast. So anyways, that is Laura Mercier Eau Gourmand Ombre Vigny. Next, I wore a Zara fragrance, and it's funny because I have not worn this one since I first got it. Um, I don't think it was quite as cold out the first time I wore this, um, or the last time I wore it, I should say. There's something floating around in my bottle. Now that I look, I've got like particles floating around. It almost looks like fiberglass. That's kind of scary. Um, but anyways, this is Zara. This is the Zara Emotions fragrance. This one's called Rose Marshmallow Candy. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful fragrance. There's no rose in this. I don't know why they call it rose, except I guess the color. There's no rose in this at all. But this is, it's marshmallow and a, a couple other things. I can't even remember the other notes. Marshmallow and something else. I think a citrus fruit, maybe blood orange. Yeah, I think it's blood orange, marshmallow, and one other thing. Man, the first time I wore this, it didn't last very long on me at all. The second time I wore this, I oversprayed like crazy. I probably went in with maybe 10 sprays. You can see the huge dent I've gotten this, and I've only worn it a few times. Um, but I way oversprayed this. This thing was a beast. This lasted me all day long. In fact, it was so long lasting that by the end of the day, maybe after I'd been wearing it for like eight or so hours, maybe even nine hours, near the end of the day, I kind of got sick of how it was smelling. And so I needed to spray on something else to try to change the way this was smelling because it was so persistent. So it was an absolute beast on me, which I was really surprised. Most of these um, Zara Emotions fragrances are like two to four hours max on me. This thing was an absolute beast. And I, I'm thinking because it's been sitting for a while now um, that it's just, I guess, strengthened up a little bit. And also the cold weather, the combination of the two. And now it's an absolute beast. So I love this fragrance. It's really beautiful. I just wasn't expecting it to be as persistent as it was. So now that I know that, I will... This is one of those fragrances that I will have to be in the mood for because I'm going to have to be in the mood to have it on for a very long time. Um, I could still smell it even the next day after I woke up and even after I applied another fragrance. So it is crazy long lasting. So anyways, that is Rose Marshmallow Candy from the Zara Emotions line from Zara. Okay, this next one is one that I have just been craving too. This is one of those that like right now I'm having to force myself to wear other fragrances because this is all I want to wear. Um, this is called Intense Om from Dua, and this is a um, this is a dupe of Dua. Sorry, this is a dupe of Dior Om Intense, which I still want a bottle of Om Intense because they're not exactly the same. Um, there are differences in them, even though they're very very similar, and in the dry down they're very similar. They are different enough that I still want a bottle of Dior Om Intense. Um, this is beautiful. It's an iris heavy fragrance though. It's super cozy, it's super warm and comforting. Um, I don't think it's too masculine at all. In fact, I think it's very, very unisex. I just think it's a gorgeous fragrance. Um, and yeah, this is the fragrance right now that I'm like having to make myself stop wearing because it's the only fragrance that I want to wear because it's been, it's just so cozy and lovely. And fuzzy smelling. And I'm going through an iris phase where all I want to wear is iris. Um, so you'll probably see my Boucheron iris fragrance in next week's because I've been wearing that a ton too. I'm just like in this iris phase. 
I'm probably going to pull out my other Dua fragrance um, that is a, that's a dupe of the Guerlain, um, I think it's Iris Torrefe, if I remember correctly, or Iris, yeah, something. It's an Iris fragrance. But anyways, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And this lasts absolutely forever. It's a beast of a fragrance. Um, you can easily get eight, ten hours out of this. I do overspray it as well um, because it's not... This isn't one that's gonna like suffocate you if you overspray it like a lot of duos can be. Um, this one's really, really nice. Uh, it's just a beautiful like iris and coffee fragrance. Fuzzy, warm, cozy, I love it. So that is Intense Om from Dua. And then last but not least is, oh man, I pulled this out and I haven't worn this one in so long. This is just Alaya from Alaya Paris. This is beautiful. It gets compared to Hypnotic Poison a lot. It does not smell like Hypnotic Poison because it doesn't have that licorice note in it or the anise note. Um, it's got something really bright smelling in it, but it is super cozy and warm and... Um... Oh man, I love this. My liquid has gotten so, so dark, like so dark. Oh, yeah, there's just something beautiful about this. It's soft and warm and fuzzy smelling. I would say it's in the same ballpark as Hypnotic Poison, but it doesn't smell like it really at all. It's the same kind of fragrance. It's warm and cozy and very rich smelling, but it's way more floral than Hypnotic Poison. Um, it doesn't have the almond in it. If I remember correctly, this doesn't have any almond in it. The way that Hypnotic Poison does. And this has got something very bright. Um, almost like sugary, fruity smelling. Which is kind of weird because I don't remember. I, I didn't remember that about this. Really, really beautiful though. This is a beast of a fragrance as well. This will last easily eight hours. Um, this is one that you can spray it on in the morning. You won't have to worry about it for ages. It, it'll it just keep going. So anyways, I do love this one. I haven't worn it in a really long time. I'm very glad I pulled it out finally. That is Alaya from Alaya Paris. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.